Greetings everyone and welcome to another Jarison Time informational video. In the following video, we'll be taking a look at JT Clock Myself activation and clocking. To download the JT Clock app, go onto the Play Store of your phone and search for JT Clock, then install the app. Once we have opened the JT Clock app, it will display a loading screen where it informs us that the app is busy syncing. Once the syncing is done, the app will proceed to ask us for permissions. For the app to work correctly, please allow all permissions that are asked for. For the first permission, we will be selecting the while using the app option for the pictures and record video permission. Then for the device location permission, we will also be selecting the while using the app option and for the access to photos and videos on this device permission, we will select allow. After the permissions, the app will take us through to some of its features. We can then read each of them and select next. And on the last one, we can select start. Now that we have opened the app, we have four options that we can work with. First is the try it out option, where we can have a look at how the app works without linking the app to the Jarison Time system. Then we have the activate app option, which we will be using in a bit. Then we have the learn more option where information about the app can be found. And last, we have settings. This is used should we want to change any settings before working with the app. We will then select the activate app option. On the activation window, we will need to enter a code to link our JT Clock app to the Jarison Time system. This code can be provided to you by the Jarison Time system user. Once we have the code, we will insert it into the given text box. Please note that the dashes between the numbers must be added as well. Then once we are done, we will select the activate button. The app will load and inform us of a successful activation. Should the activation not work, the app will also inform us that we will have to contact the Jarison Time system user for assistance. The app will then display the terms and conditions. We can then read through it. Once done, we can then select I agree. The app will then do another connection check with information sent and received. Once done, the app will log into our clocking window. Here we can select the clock in button. The app will search for our GPS location, then inform us if the clock was successful or not. There is also a possibility that the app could ask us to take a photo, but these settings are dependent on the settings that have been set up in Jarison time by the system user and then the clocking window will display the date and time that we have clocked in. Should we want to clock out, we will select the clock out button. The app will search for GPS location again and inform us if the clock was successful or not. And after that, we can see the date and time that we have clocked out. That will be all for the JT Clock informational video. Thank you for watching and goodbye.